The coffee in Europe is so much better than, than the ones in Japan. Even the one that they give you at the hotel tastes better. I like it. This is the Italian one. It's really good. We are getting a breakfast or brunch. Next to all the mountains. Everyone's using the phone to check the menu, translating, except Emily, she's fluent. <laughs> I didn't know you're a big fan of breadsticks, Boris. I'm not, I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 1 p.m. right now, first meal of the day. Yeah, it's like curved. It's not straight. What is that? What did you get? It's bumpy. Fruit, fruit juice. Fruit juice. It's like they said it's vegetable it's fruit, but all they can taste is peach. That's really good. It's actually quite easy to hold because of the curvature. It's a cool feeling when you come into like a, this like a local little city, and then you fit right in. Come to this restaurant, and nobody can hardly speak English, but you manage to communicate and get some food. Just an Italian translator. Emily is our only hope, last hope of this trip. Not the best hope. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it like 100 times better than the rest of us. <laughs> Boris got a pizza. You should have gotten pepper and pizza, Boris. With pepper. <laughs> Bell peppers. So I order, Boris order, pepperoni pizza, and we got pizza with pepper, bell peppers. <laughs> with the meat. Yeah. Very disappointing. I like how they serve bread here, put it in a bag like this. I have no idea what I got, but it looks really good. Minjur, did you know what you were getting? No. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Normal. Normal, like pasta? Yeah, like pasta. spaghettis? Mm -hmm. like, what are those? Good. It's good though? Yeah. Boris is like digging the, the Italian pizzas. He's loving it. Mm. Italian pizzas two, two times in a row, two meals in a row. Never stopping. It's the only word I know. <laughs> the pasta is okay? How's your pasta, Minjur? Okay? I don't know, I can't express the feeling of coming to a restaurant and not being able to communicate and get something that you actually don't want. <laughs> Weather quickly changed from yesterday. It's really, really hot out here, maybe 30 degrees Celsius. And it's pretty dry here between the mountains. But we're gonna keep going. The food was, food is okay. It was a local Italian restaurant. It was cool to be able to go to a restaurant like that. So, but let's go. Where are you taking us? No. no one knows. the ticket for the bus to Venice. We're here in Venice. We're staying at a hotel all the way back there. It's a little bit, it's outside of the Venice Island because it's cheaper. It's very, very hot here all of a sudden. I can't believe the temperature change. We have a car, but nowhere on Venice Island you can have, find a hotel with parking lot. So we're in Venice finally. Look at, check out this bridge. It's so nice out here. I, I didn't see this last time I came here. So Minju, this is your first time coming to Venice, right? Yeah, first time. I think this is like the biggest tourist attraction area that we've seen yet during this our trip. No way, there's a Muji in Venice. What the heck? Just a little 
Look at that, it's so nice. It is my second time, that is his second time, I mean just first time visiting Venice. But it's just so unreal to me that like uh, such a city like this still exists. It's like uh, we're in a dreamland, <laughs> almost. Although there's some trash on the street, how the city is around the water is made, it's just so beautiful. And the restaurant we're going is by the water. Hi. I got this uh, red orange drink. So this is basically a cocktail with orange and then some stuff inside. Okay, what happened? What did you get? I thought I got pasta. <laughs> Instead, I got watermelon soup. <laughs> <laughs> I just got f How much is that? Like 15 euros. Good? Prawns are good. I don't know about the soup. Though. What about you, Minju? It's good because of the view, right? So nice out here. If you want some black spaghetti, if you are looking for one, this is the place to come. Ooh. Noodle is pretty thick. Mm. Not bad. Pretty good. The food was pretty good, but pretty pricey here. As you might know, everything here is very, very expensive for just a meal like that. It's like 70, 80 bucks. The most famous part of Venice, the lookout point, is right here. Check this view out guys. As you can see, sun is setting. It's really nice out here. Lots of people though. Really like Venice, but it's just that it's so crowded. That's like the only downside, but the view is really nice. We gotta get on the boat though. This is so funny. This is the chosen ones. This Don't. is where the demon lives. Don't open the gates. <laughs> Minjo, where are you taking us? This is sketchy. Where are you taking us, Minjo? Where are you? Yeah, it looks very, very sketchy here. So, that's good. What were you saying about the guy who bumped into me? He was staring at your camera. And I think he was trying to take it. <laughs> I was trying to hold it pretty tight. We came to this uh, coffee place. Look at the amount of coffee they have. They're also giving out some free sweets, so make sure to come here. What is that? Truffles. Truffles? Truffles. What the heck? <laughs> How much are those? 85 euros. 85 euros. So yeah, when you come to Venice, make sure you don't you watch your belongings very well and hold on to your stuff very tightly because they, they'll snitch it for you in front of you. And the place we're coming is crazy pizza because it wasn't enough for these two, including me. Hey, water? Let's get where's your pizza? Hot. That's what you've been waiting for. Take a bite. 
Good. It's like a New York style pizza. When I'm walking around at night time, I'm like looking around and I see like a guy on the side of the street just kind of like looking around like this. So I feel like <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous at night. And there's so many small alleys that you, if you're a tourist, you'll probably get into like an alley that you probably don't want to get into. So yeah, we saw like a group of five guys in the dark alley blocking the alley at the dead end, right? They were at the dead end of the alley. They're just like doing something. Not sure. What do you think they were doing, Daisuke? Splitting the money. Split. <laughs> So apparently the gelato from this place is supposed to be good, right, Minju? Yeah. The reviews. The reviews? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Who is this party? What did you get? Opera. Opera? It's like chocolate. Got a... Uh, what are you, tiramisu ice cream right here? What did you get? I got strawberry and stuff. How's it? It's good? Good. The question now is can we get back home from here at night? With no internet. It is looking good. It is looking good just following the crowd. It is looking good just following the crowd. As you saw, Venice was a lot of walking, but we managed to come home safely. So that's a good news. Because for a second, I thought we weren't able to come back home without GPS, but. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy our little journey in Venice. Walking journey. But anyways, um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!